Hello guys, so the new season has started. We had a great game at Anfield between the two champions, EPL champion Liverpool and EFL champion Leeds United. Let's take a look at how the two approach this match. They actually have the same formation, which is 4-3-3, but that is the only similarity that they have. The execution is totally different, which makes breaking this down really interesting. Alright, so first we have Liverpool, they play through the middle. Jurgen Klopp has been experimenting with this style in the preseason. In last season, they play from out wide through the fullback. But this time, the main focal point is the front three and the two centre midfielder. Instead of having to stay at the back to cover the space left by the fullback, they are given the permission to run into the box to help the front three. The fullback does need to be a bit conservative with the forward run. In this setup, Roberto Firmino, the false nine, will drop down a bit to link up between the two midfielders and the two wingers. In this match, Jordan Henderson's main role is to help cover the back. Not much contribution from him in the offensive department. Alright then, let's take a look at some examples from the game. As you can see here, Keita and Gini is supporting the forwards instead of covering the fullbacks. Here they have a narrow shape at the front and the fullback is not going forward. In previous season, you seldom see the two Liverpool midfielders inside the box because they had to cover the space left by Robertson and Trent. In this match, the two fullbacks is no longer the main outlet of attack. The front three had to work together with the two centre midfielders to create something. Alright, next we have Leeds United. They do this the opposite way of Liverpool. While Liverpool depends on their front three to start the attack and create something with their creativity, Leeds play from the back. The build-up is started from the goalkeeper and the two centre-backs. Their main target is to get the ball to Calvin Phillips, who will then launch a long ball penetrating the defence. Unlike Liverpool forwards who need to be involved in the build-up, Leeds forward focus their effort and movement on the pitch trying to beat the offside trap. The forwards play wide supported by the two midfielders. This give a lot of options to Calvin Phillips or Ailing to play the perfect pass. Alright then, let's take a look at some examples from the game. As you can see here, the midfielders push way beyond the opponent's midfielders. If a long ball comes, it's gonna be a 5 versus 4 situation. We can see here because the midfielders push forward, the opponents need to play a bit deeper which allow tons of space for Calvin Phillips to find the perfect pass. Here again, four players playing at the shoulder of the defender. Ailing with the ball is also a capable passer. And now we have Pablo Hernandez with a similar situation. Alright, for the finale, let's compare between the two 4-3-3 tactics. So Liverpool play a bit narrower and more conservative, while Leeds play a little bit riskier with 5 or 4 players looking to beat the offside trap. Because the attack is started by the forwards, there is not much option in the box for a pass, which forces them to run through the defender. Compared to Liverpool's style of play, which depends on the creativity of the forwards to create something, Leeds' tactic is more direct, that is to put as many bodies as possible in the final third, that is to provide a lot of option for a pass into space. 
Alright, so which approach do you guys think is better? Let me know in the comments. As for me, I prefer Mr. Bielsa's style. As a spectator of football, I want to watch goals and exciting build-up. And his style certainly does that. As a Liverpool fan though, I'm glad that Liverpool won this match but they definitely need to do some adjustment if they want to keep winning and defend their title. In this match, all four Liverpool goals are scored from that ball situation. Two penalties, one corner and one free kick. Compare that to Leeds who got all three goals from open play. I think because Liverpool play narrower, there is not much space in the box for Salah and Mane to take a shot. With Gini and Keita joining them inside the box, there is even less space for the two wingers to maneuver. If they want to keep doing this, Gini and Keita need to improve their striking ability and change their mindset to scoring goals instead of just facilitating between Salah and Mane. And the same goes to Roberto Firmino, I'm not sure if he is a false 9 anymore or a midfielder. He dropped really deep which reduced much of Liverpool attacking prowess. As a football lover, I'm excited to see Leeds back in the Premier League and I'm definitely going to keep watching their games and hope they have a great success in the league with their style of play. They're definitely one of the best team to watch and can become a contender to the top 4. Anyway, I hope you guys had a good time watching this and I'll see you guys in the next one.